what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of city skyline sunset harbor dlc my name is sports monkey welcome back to fox valley and as you can tell right now our city center is filling in nicely we have five or six skyscrapers right now which is fantastic and we have a ton of high density residential so welcome back guys ladies and gentlemen so um what i wanted to do today is build the most profitable industry which, and you might ask, which is the most profitable industry in City Skylines Industries? Well, that's pretty simple. It's the only one I have left. And I'm going to hold down the Y button and go over here. And we have the oil industry over here. Now, you can tell there's not much oil over here, but we're going to try to drill as much oil as possible. So again, in order to do this, you're going to need the City Skylines Industries DLC which um, you should have by now because I've gone through the ore industry, the forest industry, and the farming industry. So let's start the oil industry as quickly as possible. So I, now what's really nice about over here is I do have a highway entrance. So I can actually utilize that. I'm not going to utilize that just yet. But um, I am going to actually... So I'm going to do what I sort of did before to my other industries and just kind of build around the limited or industry or, or the limited oil industry we have we do not have much space as you can tell as i i showed you before so basically i'm going to show you right now the city skylines industry oil industry road layouts just to help you out but again this is a little bit different than normal because we don't have very much space for this road layout, but that's all right. I'm going to show you how to best utilize it as much as possible. So this is actually a good chunk of land for the oil industry. So what we first need to do, like all other oil industries, we do need to zone the district. So we go into our painting tool in the zone and districts tool, and we are going to zone the whole thing. Now I'm going to make it a little wider so I can actually zone more. Now while I'm zoning painting the industry please remember to like subscribe and comment you guys have been fantastic on my ore industry video uh you guys have been awesome so i appreciate that ahead of time and you guys have been watching those videos and then you blew up my battery video which is fantastic i have over 300 views on that one so if you have not yet like comment or subscribe please do that now I would be that would be greatly appreciated and if you have not um if you do enjoy this content please let me know in the comment section um, so also remember, once you're done painting the oil industry, you do have to label it the oil industry. So you need that black teardrop. No, it's not a teardrop, but black drop of oil. So the next thing you have to do is go over to the industries and you have to paint in the, the industries. I know that sounds insane. N not really, but you know, it's just how city skylines is. So this is actually going to be very hard to figure out where all the oil is. I know it's in the middle of my roads. But we need to make sure that the oil is actually being uh, pumped from the ground. Like what I mean by that is don't place any oil pumps that aren't producing oil. So that is going to be kind of hard to do. So what you first do, step one, obviously like in all other city skylines industries, you're going to build a main building. We're going to build it over here. Now you can see where all the oil is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build i believe an avenue that's going straight across where we just saw because that is like we want to get in the middle of all this oil over here yes i know is i know main building you need water and electricity but we're not there yet so what we're going to do is kind of build a couple funnels i know that sounds like a weird term but i'm trying to build a couple places where we can actually pump oil and not have any issues getting the oil out of the ground that is my main issue as you can already tell i am a little bit nervous about this because i don't know how much oil we're actually going to get out of the ground and usually um the city skylines oil industry is honestly one of the highest producing industries like it's it look at how large these large oil rigs are and they're not very big like remember the ore industry and how look how big the ore industry large mines are compared to that small one so this is the most lucrative 
industry in all of city skyline so if you're looking to make a ton of money build an oil industry i highly 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 suggest it like i'm doing right here this might actually work out really well surprisingly i don't like you can tell as i'm putting down these large oil oil rigs i'm still getting 91 90 85 78 i'm still getting a good amount of oil out of out of these so let me see can i i don't know if i really want to do this but i'm gonna try sure as heck try okay i could put more up here okay cool so i can put another row of large oil rigs so i think we're actually gonna have a lot of oil <laughs> i know this seems ridiculous but i want to make a ton of money from this wow that is Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have a lot of oil. I, I did not expect this much from this little area. So this is freaking fantastic. So what we're going to do next is we're going to need all... We're gonna, I'm actually going to get rid of this road. So just to kind of clear out some of the congestion, I'm going to get one-way roads out of the... I don't want the trucks to come in. I want the truck come in through the bottom here. I want them to leave and go to the other facilities so what i mean by other facilities is i need to go i need to create the other factories so we're gonna come over here and again this is all just the way i'm building this i know does not seem really cool and entertaining and whatnot but this is the best way to control your traffic honestly like this is the best way where in city skylines Xbox One edi console edition like we don't have We don't have any road traffic mods. We don't have anything like that. So we have to Use what we got and we have to use it ooh, Excuse me In a smart manner and you know if we if we're if we're just You know if we just if we just add all avenues right in front of us and none of these little roads It would be a mess. It would be a complete mess. So that's what we're trying to avoid so let's add a couple barracks. That should increase our efficiency rating, which that is always good. So we'll add a few of those. Now what we'll add next is pretty simple. We'll add a oil sludge paralysis plant. What that does is here. I'll just I'll just place a couple. One, two, three, four, and we'll add we'll add five since we have a lot of pumps. So we'll we'll go into it. An oil. An oil sludge paralysis plant is pretty simple. It creates uh, petroleum, as you can tell. It creates 160 barrels, which that is a, still a good amount. Um, now we'll do the petrochemical plant. We'll do a couple of those over here. So see how I'm spreading them out so they won't go, it won't be that crazy traffic wise. So we do have other, wow, we're not gonna need that much space, but we do have other, buildings we do have to build and since we already have a lot of oil rigs i don't think we're actually going to need any more honestly i think we have plenty and people in the comment section below let me know if i if i overdid it did i overdo it on the oil rigs i don't think i did but we'll see so what i just added besides those roads we will go into it right now i just added what's called the waste oil refinery plant it creates more petroleum which it creates 240 bar barrels so now the the paralysis plant only creates 160 so look how much more that is almost a hundred barrels more than the other plant so that's why you're that's why as you upgrade each star and upgrade your your industry that they get more and more lucrative because that is that is example a of why they become very lucrative because those those the bigger the newer pl or the plants as they continue to grow and get bigger they will create more and more products so let's go to the nutcracker plant is that actually the name of it there you go i'm gonna only put two of those i'm gonna end up probably putting more but the uh the cracker oh it's not not cracker plant the, the cracker plant the nafada cracker plant um it creates plastics it, it creates 240 tons worth of plastic these goods will be used later on i will show you exactly what they're used for later on and um basically you can use them for other factories and whatnot and create some cool things now we do need some storage 
for our oil industry. Um, I'm gonna put the storage, I think, like, I think I'm gonna put it over here. I don't wanna put it over here and congest the, the living crap out of it, but I wanna put it over here. And while we're waiting for Xbox One to save, now remember, you do want storage because a lot of the storage you're going to be using to ship out of your, your country, out of your city. I know, not out of the country. So we're going to create a couple large warehouses over here on the side. And we're going to put that for petroleum. Then the other one we want, come on, come on, fit it. And the other one we want for plastics. There you go. What we also want to do is connect this highway system. Um, I will do that in a couple minutes, but just let's go through anything else I missed. Um, now we could create a crude oil and we could, let's create one of these. Um, I don't want to put it there though. I'm going to put it over here. This is also going to be storage so you guys can see it. So it's called the, it's called the crude oil storage caravan that oh god it's right on the line border so i'll show you exactly what those are a crude oil storage caravan um will store more oil which is fine that's not a big deal now i'm trying to think of anything else um i do want to create though this massive factory um no nope, not steel it's over here this is what's called the petroleum refinery now th this will be very lucrative in this area. Now, I don't know how, I don't know if I want to actually put it over here. Where do I want to put it? Well, this is on a curve, but no. I'm just trying to put it to where it won't be a crazy amount of traffic, but I'm going to put it over here just to start out. We'll see how well it does. So what I just inserted was a from the specialization unique factory buildings and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click a it's the petroleum refinery so what this does is it takes petroleum plastics and metals and creates fuel now what you can now what you can see is we create the plastics over here obviously we cr create petroleum over here the key though will be to get our ore industry metals from over here to over there. So what I'm going to do really quickly, I know this isn't technically the oil industry. Well, it's still part of the oil industry, but I'm going to add just a road across here and down and over. So basically we're going to have metals that come from over here. I don't, I'm just, nope, that's glass. Where's the metals? We're going to have metals that come from here and and from over here, and we're gonna have metals that are gonna drive over to here and fill this petroleum oil thing. Now, when you, petroleum oil thing, yeah. No, when you build this refinery, it's gonna give you about, at 120%, you're gonna, it's gonna cost you $2,000, but of, mater, of material cost, but you're gonna get about eight to 10,000 in return. So before I start the simulation, I wanna do a couple things. I need to add water to, this whole area which that's that's a given i always forget to put down pipes in my city skyline cities and i did not do that for once so yay for me i'm really impressed with myself for remembering um now i do need to get electricity for this area um i can can definitely use some power lines and just connect it over from over here steel power from this grid over here and you can see there's the blue Connected to blue. Now, will this go over? I don't think this will go over, so we're going to have to go over this way. But as you can tell, the blue the blue connects from over here to across the street, so we should have a good electrical grid. Now, before we start anything, I do want to add... I do want a highway connect. I'm not really adding anything. I'm just continuing the highway connection. Um, what you want to do is go to your roads and go hit RB all the way down to you have a couple options for the councils. You have the large roundabout, you have a small roundabout, you have a clove intersection, and then you have one of these three-way three -way intersections. So what I'm going to do is try to... Oh, nope, I need more space. These things are kind of big. So this is called the three-way intersection. So that's 
cool. Um, I think I'm gonna just put it like this. Just, ugh, it does not look good. But I will make adjustments and kind of make it look good. But we'll leave that there. And we will connect this up real quick. Now, I hope this is a one-way. I believe, yes, it is a one-way road. And it's the same road type. Okay, perfect. I Sometimes you don't, I don't remember what the road type is, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to connect this over there. And going out, I'm going to connect... You know what? I'm gonna make that a curved road. It that that road does not look good, and neither one coming into the city does not look good. That looks much better. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, guys. That looks a lot better. So, wait. The reason why I'm adding this connection is pretty simple. Um, I don't want the traffic from the ore industry to or, or oil industry to go back into the city and then go out of the city. I want it to go out from here. So. I'm gonna so basically that is the oil industry in a nutshell um, now what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the foggy petroleum that is the name of it by the way we are negative 9,000 so far in this because guess what everything is just starting to build so don't freak out what I'm also gonna do is go to the green check mark and oh god okay we need did not see that coming we need a water treatment plant what I'm gonna do is I know this seems a little scummy of a move, but I'm going to I'm gonna put this water treatment plant in our ore industry. It gives off a lot of pollution. Let me go back to it. Let me explain why. So, it get, look at the pollution ring. I don't want to put that in my city center. Like, I don't need the noise complaint or the pollution or anything else like that. I don't need that in my city. And the ore industry is giving it off enough pollution that you know what just leave it leave it there like honestly just let it be like you know and i just added another water tower so our water is going to be perfect there's going to be no issues so um let's see come on guys yep go back okay perfect awesome all right so now we're just waiting for how do they not have water oh and i poorly piped this area so that is my fault Perfect. So, I'm going to leave this for today, and I'm going to just show you. So, as you can tell, look at, see that truck? See that truck? It just came in with metals. This truck came in with metals and to our petroleum refinery plant, which is awesome. And, again, our, our petroleum will start making money soon enough. We just need it to get going. But thank you guys for watching.